Tell the us a little the bit recent about story is still the bloodbath and bonds continuing. Right. So looking at this chart, this is week over week. We, we saw a parallel shift up in the yield curve along the, the two year, so the mid up to the long end. So that's that red line last week and the blue line is yesterday. We've seen an increase in yields up about 20 basis points. We can also compare back to that yellow line a month ago where we had that real flat yield curve. So the good news is there's some steepening of the yield right. curve. Um, but as yields move up, prices are coming down. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at the indices lately. Do you know how much bonds are down on the year? I know it's, it's rough. I know that. You've got yeah, equity-like losses in yeah, your bonds. Over 9% losses on the Barclays Ag, which is what most people follow as their index. And the Muni index is down about 8% as well. And it gets even worse. So a lot of people will just buy corporate bond indices. It's worked well for years. So you get investment-grade corporates. And they buy the market of corporate bonds, which tends to be even higher duration. And then you have the credit risk as well. Some of those are down 10 to 13 percent. Right. So we've been warning uh, for quite some time that bonds uh, were not going to be a place to hide uh, going forward, uh, that you're going to have equity-like risk. So you might as well have equity investments uh, so that you get equity-like positive return potential because there just really wasn't much left that could be had in those bonds. Uh, yeah. And if you really needed to remove that volatility, you needed to be in cash or cash equivalents, uh, which is one of the things that we've been focusing on yeah. our uh, fixed income strategy, yeah. that's a strategy that's done well. We continue to like where we are, right? We're right. only down about 4.5% in qualified accounts and 6.5% in non-qualified, so beating the indices, but still down. Uh, the main thing that we have to worry about there is just inflation, which we continue to, to, uh, to struggle with.